And we're back with WHHI Daily News. Marcus Tanner has joined us. As you know, he's executive director of Second Helpings. Welcome Thank to you. the to the news. And Glad this is here. this is a very important statistic. Yes, According to the Feeding America study, there are twenty thousand people in our area, in the three county area, that are supposedly food insecure. So yes, can you explain mm -hmm. that and really what food insecurity is as well? Yeah, so this study was done by Feeding America uh, with all the census tract information and all the local counties and areas that come together to really identify where the need is, what the need is. And so right now, food insecurity means those, those households that don't have enough daily adequate food to nutritiously provide them with, with everything that they need to be healthy. Uh, they might have one or two meals a week where they're able to get, you know, the, right. the basic needs. But uh, but yeah, or and honestly, twenty thousand uh, people. That's only gotten worse since gotten, the study right. was done with the economy, with uh, all of COVID and all the restrictions and all the chain supply issues with grocery stores, um, record unemployment. So that number has only gotten worse. Well, and and also you share with us that there are fifty five food pantries and soup kitchens that you all serve, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. And has that grown? Or? Yeah, so we, we've noticed, uh, and every month we're having someone contact us saying, hey, we'd like to become a food pantry, or we've heard that you guys mm -hmm. deliver food. Uh, and a lot of them are low country food bank agencies as well, mm -hmm. and others, uh, they're just people, good people, the average everyday individuals who are saying, hey, I see a need. Uh, how can I meet that need? What can I do differently? And so that's what we're trying to do is partner with them, uh, our 55 agencies, but also reach out and support as many people as possible to be able to give them uh, what they need to be able to meet the need in the community. And so there is, the, the need continues mm -hmm. and we in the community, there's some things that we can do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The first one is our post-vacation food donation yes, program. Yeah, so we, what we did is we noticed that uh, you know, each year uh, there's, you know, well, actually People, there's 10,000 uh, tourists that uh, t <laughs> 10, leaving <laughs> local realtors that, that have opportunities oh. and 2.5 million people per year come. Uh, but yeah, so they, they have food uh, and they don't know what to do with it. And yeah, instead because of the tourists have left. Away, yes, ma'am. Right. Instead of throwing it away, we will, uh, we provide a, a location to drop it off to be able to put it in our hands so we can put it in the hands of those that need it. And a lot of those people that we're supporting made the vacation what it is for some of these people. So yeah, a lot I of mean, the service industry. I love that. And yes, I love to, tomorrow, which is the 13th yes, of May, mm -hmm. you can put non-perishable food in your mailbox. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And so you have a partnership yes, with the Postal yes, Service. Yes, so the National Stamp Out Hunger uh, Food Drive is going tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's all over the island, uh, also some places in Bluffton and also in Beaufort. So uh, yeah, you know, go to Publix through the buy one, get one, or any other places where you, you can actually, you can That's really make great. an impact in, in a very short amount of time. Put it out by your mailbox and the postal workers will pick it up. And we're, we're meeting them at the post office to be able to put it in our trucks. And we've got some agencies that are gonna oh, meet wow. us there. So it's gonna be, you know, a, a lot of people coming together, you know, having community and being able to reach out and impact a lot of people in a very short amount of time. Oh, that's great. And then and, finally, Deep Well and, yes, and Bluffton Self Help, you yes, can drop food off there yep, as so well. So Deep Well, one to four tomorrow, uh, as well as uh, Self Help, uh, Bluffton Self Help from nine to one. So you can drop off you know, your food items there. Uh, but one other thing about the post-vacation food donation, so we have that every Saturday from eight to 11. Yeah. Uh, and we're also gonna be uh, working with some of the locations to set up receptacles uh, for people that are leaving early or leaving later okay. to be able to allow it to make the most impact that we possibly can and raise as much awareness and as much food as we possibly and can. And so they'll know where yes, they can take, yes, make it easy. But yeah, Graco parking lot from eight to, eight to yeah. 11 tomorrow. That's great. And uh, we'll be there uh, representing Second Helpings and those that are in need. Well, thank you for your service, you. not only as a Marine years ago, <laughs> but you. with Second Helpings. Yes, Marcus Tanner, great to see you again. And thanks for having us. You yeah, guys, it's uh, always good to talk yes, with you. Wonderful. And that's a wrap for this edition of the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember, if you missed any part of our newscast, well, we'll be back in 90 minutes. Stay safe and healthy, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.